Sabir, are you enjoying Taikon 2013? Oh yes, I am. I think this year it's been very professionally done. You know, I like the hall and uh, the speakers have been a very high caliber as well. And uh, the food is very healthy as well. So what's not to like? You're one of the exhibitors here at uh, Taikon 2013. Talk about your company, Jackster. So uh, Jackster Mobile is a, a world telecom company. Uh, and what we do is provide solutions to people who travel internationally. We give them a SIM card which uh, allows them to make calls internationally at local rates. So they have mobility when they travel abroad at you know, local rates as opposed to paying exorbitant prices uh, for mobile services elsewhere in the world. What is your clientele that you're trying to target? Where are you, where is the you know, crust of your client base? Yeah. So everybody who travels to the United States and everybody who travels to Europe, okay. no matter where they travel from, uh, our rates are ridiculously low in all over Europe. Give me an example. Uh, so all of the European Union uh, is, you know, 15 cents a minute. Uh, same thing with uh, UK as well, 15 cents a minute. And for tourists who come to the United States or who go to Canada, we have same 15 cents a minute rate. Those who travel to Mexico, it's like 25 cents a minute. How have you seen this organization grow? Um, Thai has grown very well. It's become very professional. I think... Um, Thai needs to focus now on some more, uh, you know, more of a younger crowd. Uh, I think we are missing a lot of social media, you know, young entrepreneurs. Uh, so even though it's done very well in, in, in older world technology, like people from HP and Cisco, and, and uh, it, it really needs to, you know, uh, I think uh, bring in young blood and uh, focus on the youth and youth does not mean just in age I mean you need younger style companies to come and participate in time. Sabir I would say that you're a seasoned entrepreneur with Hotmail to now Jackster and several other ventures that you're working on what advice do you have for the youth out there as you mentioned youth young entrepreneurs and young people that you know might not know how to start, where to start. What is your advice? No, I think the advice is the same that it was 20 years ago. You know, keep looking for opportunities. And, uh, you know, the world is, the world of technology is an exciting place where uh, uh, there's always an opportunity to do something interesting, something new. Um, and you, you see this all the time. In my time in the late 90s, you had the dot-com boom, and now there's the social media boom mobile boom, big data boom. So, I mean, it's an uh, exciting time to be an entrepreneur. Have you seen things change from when you started to now? Like I said, entrepreneurship has not changed. Yeah, the underlying technology is a lot different. Today you can get your company up and running in a matter of uh, days, as opposed to uh, having to build infrastructure for uh, many months and or you know, many years before. So I think the, the, the time for success has been compressed. But having said that, um, you know, it is, uh, it's still, the world of entrepreneurship is still the same. The struggles are the same. I think the human story is the same. Uh, but the, like I said, the platforms have changed. The mechanisms of entrepreneurship have changed. Social media has obviously changed a lot. Uh, but entrepreneurs need to embrace you know, this, uh, all these new stimuli uh, that people are sub being subjected to whether it's through their mobile devices, their tablets, or their desktop computers. When you come up with an opportunity or a business like Jackster Mobile, I mean, you've gone from the email space to, I know you've worked with a lot of different companies and, and started a lot of ventures. What is close to your heart as far as your entrepreneurship goals, um, your vision for the future? I don't think there is any one technology or any one idea or any one uh, kind of business that is close. I just like solving human problems. I think at the heart of entrepreneurship, you're solving a fundamental problem. And if you think that the market is big enough and you're solving the problem not just for yourself, uh, but for hopefully millions of others, then you will have hit on something really big. And I think uh, 
that is fundamental to entrepreneurship. You have to find a good, good enough problem to solve. Thank you, Sabir. You're very welcome. Take care.